Hole heads and cornhole fans, galaxy wide, welcome to the center of the cornhole universe tonight. It is center court here for the American Cornhole Organization Season 17 Major Championship at the Hinkley Grand Casino in Hinkley, Minnesota. I am Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO side by side with a fine player in her own right who has a lot of insights on a lot of the players you're about to see. Tiffany Fincham, this is going to be something. It is. It's going to be a great show. These two boys are really throwing today. I'm excited to see what they put on for Now, us. I know you have an emotional vested interest in a couple of these players. We will get into that as we continue to call the match. The boys are out here in the juniors division throwing their final down and back warm-up shots. And this is a, a battle of the south versus the north. I don't want to go full civil war here, but we're talking <laughs> Virginia versus Minnesota. Austin Cameron, who I know plays out of SVC, where you play the Shenandoah Valley Cornhole against Hunter Thorson been playing one year, finds himself on center court out of Becker, Minnesota. So these guys are wrapping up their warm-up tosses, just sharpening their airmails, or as you said, measuring one another. Oh, how about that? That is just insane. So the final way to wrap things up, I think that's pretty good it down is. and back right there. All right, fellas, whenever you guys are ready, gather those bags, and I say we get this thing going. Tater, and let's bring it. How about that? Now, you know uh, inside and out the SVC and the players from the SVC as one of them. And I know that it's going to be hard for you to stay on the uh, off the edge of your seat <laughs> as Austin goes for, what, his fourth juniors major win? Yes, it's pretty impressive. He's, he'll, if he gets this, he'll max out in juniors. And, um, you know, hats off to Hunter being a first-year player, and he's coming out here being on stage. It's a lot of pressure. And for him to be able to perform, it's pretty impressive. His airmails are really tight and he hit some really nice clean air mails so I, i'm looking forward to see this be a tight game we'll see what happens here well i would tell you seven in the hole that leaves two points for austin to pick up early but as we saw all last night and we've seen time and time again it doesn't matter who jumps out to that early lead it's who's got the staying power and the stamina and the focus and the concentration to keep that lead all the way to 21. Now you mentioned maxing out in points, and by that you mean the number of points that Austin needs to advance into and have the points necessary for the World Championships, which, again, we're in mid-November, oh. mid to late November, a oh, whole wet little laundry basket form. Nobody wow. was able to flush it there. But he has maxed out in singles championship points for the World Championships, which are in July. Not just July, the end of July. He's right. done that in singles. He is trying to do that tonight in juniors as well. One of the finest players on the planet, Austin Cameron. He just displayed why he is so hot right there with that clean airmail shot. Look at that, and he's somehow able to roll a bag over Hunter's bag to the right-hand side, take his and pull it in and drag it in with him. Now he's going to take it and roll it up and over again, and that's exactly what the plan was. Good nice push. hard push. Oh, good that's push. a good pickup right there to only have to give up the other deuce. That was a three-bag big swing there for Hunter Thorson and Hunter as we mentioned one of 13 different hunters in the ACO first name Hunter so uh, he's only been in the organization one year but he is absolutely separating himself from the pack from some of the other hunters throwing the Omegas it looks like and of course the Reynolds Pro Advantage the weapon of choice for Austin Cameron, laid a nice block there that he knows he'll be able to crawl over top of with this bag, and, and he, he does. does. <laughs> oh, oh, a nice, nice shot there, a great airmail that drags another bag in there with him, but ultimately that's gonna be a three spot. three spot there with the bag off the back of the board. These guys gather it, they do not waste any time. In fact, if you joined us late, you better settle in quickly and grab whatever it is you're going to have to drink to watch this because this one could be over very, very quickly. And this is our juniors championship. Again, Hunter does have to double dip to take the championship from Austin, which means he has to win two games. Austin only has to win the one. Not happy with that one, but uh, I would say Dr. Cameron seems to be Oh, that's a tough break oh, right there. Oh, boy, he ended up being the recipient of a nice gift there, picking up another couple of extra points there. Hunter, nice enough to hand a uh, hand a bag back to him. He'll gather his, he'll refocus, and Austin holds that first bag to fire back. 
So I'll tell you something impressive. Austin, we just did doubles pool play where he is my husband's partner, Jamie Fincham, and Austin just threw all slides. So he's coming from an extremely slick bag to one of the stickiest bags there are. Well, he seems to have uh, absolute mastery and control of these bags. He made some fantastic shots there to open this frame and leaves one that's going to be a challenge for Hunter. Is he going to come in low to the left side? It looks like he is. Oh, uh, and he, he only got, he picked up one of them, so two to minimize the damage. Pick up the one, and he uh, does allow Austin to get into double digits, but not insurmountable. We've seen a lot of leads this large or larger overcome. Austin, not one of those players, though, that really seems to ever, ever let up off the gas. When he is in his zone, he stays there. Or if he happens to get out of his zone, he gets back to it very, very quickly. I don't think the kids have any fear whatsoever. None. They're aggressive. 100% of the time, they, they throw very fast. Hunter takes the step out to the right-hand side. He's going to try to get that push in between the two and follow it in. And he does. How about that? Nicely done. He said he was going to do it with his eyes. He said he was going to do it with his wrist, and he did it with both of those bags. So 11-4, to four, the deficit cut down to 7, and uh, this could be a little bit of a swing, but we'll find out just what that focus we were talking about and that concentration that Austin has as he gives up first bag to Hunter Thorson. And the speed with which they play too. That bag is almost not even done moving before the next bag is in the air and not surprising to see this happening. You're looking at an eight bagger to be there certain. There we go, no nice question bag. Whatsoever. Before earlier this afternoon, we had Austin come out because we were shooting some video of different types of shots. You've got your slide, your blocker bag, your push, your airmail. He's got this cut shot that he's done in this roll shot. Normally, if, if I were doing it, it would take, I don't know, probably two hours to get all these shots on tape. He did it in about four and a half minutes, and that was doing it twice, once on each side. That's so crazy. It was just, I said, how about the slide? Slide goes in. How about the block? Block lays down. How about the push? Push goes in. So then we had to pause for a moment to set up a couple of bags for the airmail shot, and then the and one shot as well. So his cut, his roll, the and one, all of them on point. And, oh, uh, I almost oh, tried to roll it. Boy, he missed that roll, but that's a that's a rare miss. But we've seen him come up just a little bit short on occasion where they roll up and over a little bit to the left, and clearly Hunter's bag had a lot to say about that. But you've got a grin on your face. You knew know this ear to ear, right? Right now. I don't know if you're even aware. <laughs> no. But you're almost looking at this as no matter how Hunter, well Hunter plays, this is a fait accompli. Well, I just know that Austin was pretty determined uh, last night, so. <laughs> I'm just impressed with these kids can turn it over on slick or sticky and still throw the same perfect bag. I just don't know how they do it. Hunter has a chance to pick up two here. Smacks the backside, and he does. How about that? What a shot. Little bit of a window, and he slid right through the crack that was available, and he's going to pick up a deuce to uh, cut the lead 15. And it's interesting. We asked these guys who, what celebrity alive or uh, deceased that they would love to play a game against, and they were not near one another anywhere. When they filled these out, Cameron says Tom Brady. Hunter Thorson says Gronk. Oh, the Patriots. Yeah, well. The Patriots team. Well, it used to be Patriots. Now the cursed Buccaneers. Right. <laughs> the power with which they throw, too. It's just straight brute force with these guys. Oh, oh wow. how about that? What a shot. The roll bag takes one with it and puts him just a couple of points away from, as you mentioned, maxing out in juniors for the season. We are in season 17. We're not even two and a half months into the season, and he could max out his points for the entire season tonight. Actually, that must have been game. Oh, that was it. They miscalculated points. They agree to disagree, and it's very nicely done. Austin Cameron does exactly what we talked about. We'll have him here in the winner's booth. We'll add a seat here, buddy. Come on in, and uh, boy, I'll tell you something. Um, it's interesting that you have the mask on because you just basically surgically <laughs> did everything that you wanted to do. We've talked about it two days in a row now, but I, that's the most focused I've seen you in a game. And I know yeah. what you've been through all day today in so many other divisions. Some great shot making there. 
You can take your mask off if you want for this. Let people see. Right. Let people see uh, that grin, that wide, that wide grin. And you've maxed out in juniors for the season as well. So singles and so. juniors. What's left? You doubles. Just gonna, doubles. Uh, doubles. You got to max out in doubles. All right. Yeah. With uh, what's his name again? I Jamie forget. Fincham. Jamie Fincham, and he's married to who again? Oh yeah, my partner in the booth. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. It's a it's a bit of a love fest with the SVC here in these first early championships. But talk about just how dialed in that game was there. There, there was nothing you wanted to do that you didn't do. Well, I, I've been struggling all weekend, and uh, yesterday my last my last singles game, I finally found it. So, and when you find it, when you say you find it, you found find what? Because I am not a hundred percent sure what you've lost. It's like four bags in the hole. It's every a four, time. A four every single every time. time. Well, I was watching your down and back, and you guys just airmail, airmail, yeah. airmail, just poking at each other. It was like a fist fight on the boards. It was right. great, yeah. and I expected to see a lot more of that. But you really had that roll bag going. You had a couple nice drags. He had a couple nice ones yeah. as well. And he's been yeah. playing about a what would you say, Tiffany? About a year. A year. About one year. So. What do you he think? Said, he said this is the first major. Is that right? That's yeah. his so first major. To be major. here, his first major up here on stage like that. On yeah. the finals. Well, I'll tell you something. We're just going to start calling you Max from now on. I know, <laughs> I know there's a couple people that will probably be bummed out about that, but we got to get to the ladies. Nicely done. Well done. Austin Thank Cameron, SVC. Shenandoah Valley Cornhole, the pride of SVC. Well